This is the third video from our series, Unveiling the Darkness. Andre Chikatilo. Please do subscribe, like, and share to help us grow our channel thread tonic. Andre Chikatilo's entrance into the world on October 16, 1936, coincided with one of the most tumultuous periods in Russian history. The landscape of Soviet Russia was scarred by the ravages of World War II, with echoes of conflict reverberating through the countryside. In the rural village of Yabluchne, where Chikatilo took his first breaths, the chaos of war cast a long shadow over daily life. Resources were scarce, and hardship was the norm, as families struggled to eke out a meager existence amidst the harsh realities of Soviet life. Chikatilo's childhood unfolded against this backdrop of adversity, his family grappling with the challenges of wartime survival. Yet, amid the turmoil, there were few signs of the darkness that would come to define him. His early years were unremarkable, overshadowed by the struggle to secure basic necessities in a time of scarcity. But as Chikatilo grew, so too did the seeds of his dark desires, nurtured by the turbulent currents of adolescence. The transition into adulthood marked the beginning of Chikatilo's descent into madness, as the shadows of his twisted fantasies began to take shape. Socially awkward and emotionally isolated, he found himself adrift in a sea of peer rejection and sexual frustration. His attempts at forging meaningful connections were met with disdain, driving him deeper into the recesses of his own troubled mind. It wasn't until the late 1970s that Chikatilo's inner demons would find expression in acts of unspeakable horror. In 1978, he committed his first known murder, a seemingly random act of violence that sent shockwaves through the Soviet Union. The victim, a young girl named Yelena Zakotnova, was just nine years old when her life was brutally snuffed out, marking the beginning of Chikatilo's reign of terror. Fueled by an insatiable thirst for power and control, Chikatilo's crimes escalated with chilling rapidity. His victims, predominantly women and children, were chosen for their vulnerability, their lives sacrificed on the altar of his depraved desires. Each murder was a carefully orchestrated act of sadism, designed to maximize the suffering of his victims and satisfy his twisted cravings for dominance. The true extent of Chikatilo's depravity would only come to light years later, as the body count continued to rise and the authorities struggled to apprehend the elusive killer. Women and children lived in constant fear of becoming his next victim, their every move clouded by the specter of violence and death. Yet despite the horrors he unleashed upon the world, Chikatilo remained a shadowy figure, his true identity concealed behind a mask of normalcy. It would take years of painstaking investigation and the tireless efforts of law enforcement before the full extent of his crimes would be brought to light. But even as the horrors of his reign of terror were laid bare, the scars he left behind would continue to haunt the collective consciousness of society for years to come. One of the most chilling examples of Andre Chikatilo's depravity unfolded with the abduction and murder of 13-year-old Lyubov Biryuk in 1982. Lyubov's disappearance plunged her tight-knit community into a state of panic and despair. Her friends and family launched frantic search efforts, combing through the surrounding areas in a desperate attempt to find any trace of the missing girl. Their hopes were dashed when, weeks later, Lyubov's lifeless body was discovered in a remote location, bearing the unmistakable signs of Chikatilo's sadistic handiwork. The brutality inflicted upon this innocent child sent shockwaves through the community, leaving a profound sense of grief and outrage in its wake. Another victim of Chikatilo's monstrous acts was 10-year-old Olga Stalmachanok, whose fate mirrored that of Lyubov's in its sheer horror. In 1983, Olga's abduction spread waves of terror through her neighborhood, instilling fear in the hearts of parents who clung tightly to their children, haunted by the specter of the unknown predator prowling their streets. The discovery of Olga's mutilated remains weeks later plunged the entire nation into a state of mourning and disbelief. The grisly details of her demise served as a stark reminder of the depths of Chikatilo's depravity leaving an indelible scar on the collective psyche of the country. Adding to the roster of victims, Chikatilo's insatiable appetite for violence 
claimed the life of 16-year-old Viktor Tyshchenko in 1984. Viktor, a vibrant young boy with his whole life ahead of him, became ensnared in Chikatilo's web of terror when he vanished without a trace, sending shockwaves through his community. Despite desperate search efforts, Victor's fate was sealed when his lifeless body was discovered weeks later, bearing the gruesome hallmarks of Chikatilo's brutality. The loss of yet another innocent life served as a chilling reminder of the unchecked evil that lurked within the heart of the notorious serial killer. In 1985, Chikatilo's reign of terror claimed another victim in the form of 16-year-old Olga Kuprina. Olga, like so many before her, fell prey to Chikatilo's calculated savagery, her disappearance sparking a renewed sense of fear and dread in the community. As days turned into agonizing weeks, the hopes of finding Olga alive dwindled, until the grim discovery of her mutilated body shattered any remaining illusions of safety. The tragedy of Olga's death served as yet another grim chapter in Chikatilo's horrific legacy, underscoring the urgent need to bring an end to his reign of terror and ensure that justice prevailed for his countless victims. Andre Chikatilo's methodical approach to his atrocities was as chilling as it was barbaric, meticulously planning each attack with the precision of a seasoned predator. He prowled the streets, selecting victims of all ages and genders, exploiting their vulnerability and proximity to his advantage. Chikatilo's victims were chosen with careful consideration, ensuring that they were in isolated locations where he could indulge his darkest impulses away from prying eyes. His twisted fantasies thrived on the secrecy of these secluded spots, where he could exert complete control over his unsuspecting prey. After years of evading capture and leaving a trail of devastation in his wake, Chikatilo's luck finally ran out on November 20, 1990. Law enforcement apprehended him while he was attempting to lure another victim, sending shockwaves through the nation. His arrest laid bare the magnitude of his crimes and the depths of his depravity, shocking the collective consciousness of society to its core. The subsequent trial captivated the nation as survivors bravely took the stand, recounting the horrors they had endured at his sadistic hands. Their testimonies painted a harrowing picture of a man consumed by his own depravity, driven by impulses beyond comprehension. On October 15, 1992, Andre Chikatilo faced the consequences of his monstrous actions when he was found guilty of 52 counts of murder. The verdict brought a sense of closure to the families of his victims, yet it also raised questions about the nature of justice and the efficacy of the death penalty in deterring such heinous crimes. Chikatilo's execution on February 14, 1994, marked the end of a chapter in Russian history marred by bloodshed and horror. Yet even in death, his legacy endures as a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurks within the human soul. As we reflect on the horrors of his reign of terror, let us honor the memory of his victims by striving to create a world where such atrocities are never allowed to happen again. Andre Chikatilo stands as a grim reminder of the fragility of human nature and the depths of depravity to which some are capable of sinking. May we never forget the lives lost and the lessons learned from one of history's most notorious serial killers.